Hello and good morning, everyone. How are you? Happy, happy Saturday. It is almost Valentine's Day, and I'm not going to talk too, too much about Valentine's Day today because I'm actually coming back and I will be doing a live on Valentine's Day. I have some very firm thoughts about being single on a Valentine's Day and how it can be fun and how it cannot be so much fun. So I'll be scheduling another live for Tuesday. But for now, we're going to talk about stuff. We're just going to talk about life. We're going to talk about mm, stuff I bought on Amazon. And we're going to talk about Doc Martens and all the crazy ways that I've seen that you can break them in. And then some that I have tried and some that I haven't tried, but I think might work. So let's see. Okay, Doc Martens. We're going to talk about just Doc Martens in general. You know, they're a great boot. I have to tell you, I absolutely, um, it, I have to hold on here. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I've been wearing Doc Martens now since the 90s. I remember walking through Nordstrom's and I was a young mom. I had two kids. And I had totally lost my identity as to who I was. I was no longer Lonnie. I was somebody's mom. And I was really struggling to find, like I said, my own identity. And then I'm walking through Nordstrom's and I see a pair of Doc Martens. And I was like, wow, that's what I want. That's the, um, that's the look I want to go for. And I've been a fan ever since. And that was 30 years ago. I know that because my youngest son is turning 30 30 this month. So anywho, I found a pair of Doc Martens. I love them. And I've been wearing them ever since. Now, the pair that I'm going to talk about today is the Jaden boot. This is my absolute new all-time go-to favorite boot. Um, it was super easy to break in and it's very comfortable. I went to San Francisco the other day and I had actually ended up walking six miles and my feet didn't hurt. I didn't have any blisters. It, I believe, and I will say in all honesty, I believe it was because I had broken them in properly before going. And also, too, they're a comfortable boot. When you are buying Doc Martens, um, make sure, just understand this. When you buy a Doc Martin, if you buy a really heavily dyed Doc Martin, like a white, a pink, a red, something with a lot of um, design on it, it's going to be a stiffer leather and it's going to be harder to break in. I have a pair of Jaden boots exactly like this, but they're the Hello Kitty pair and they feel like plastic. It is a completely different leather. I cannot for the life of me break them in, but these broke in super easy. Now, I saw somebody send me um, a video the other day of somebody breaking in their Doc Martin boots by running them over with their car. While, yes, sometimes it's tempting to go that extreme, I do not recommend that at all. Um, you could just damage your boot. Just, I don't know. I just don't know what running over your boot would do other than run over your boot. Because ultimately what you want to do is you just want to soften the leather. You, you, it's, it's a very thick leather shoe. And you just need to soften it. What I recommend is um, using Wonder Balm. And I meant to grab it before I came live. And I, I'm sorry. Well, you know what? Let's just go for a little walk. This is the amazing thing about technology is that we can do all sorts of things. So you're going to walk with me through my house because I want to go grab the Wonder Balm. Because I think showing you the product is going to be so much better than just telling you about it. So that was my kitchen and my front room. That's my living room. That's my hallway. Hold on. That's my dog, which you always see her because she's always trying to muscle her way into my video. Okay. Thank you, Indy. So this is Indy. If you haven't met her before, let me show you. This is Indy. Her full name is Independence. She is just about eight months old. She is a full, full bred um, American Bull Terrier. She loves her mommy. 
stop. And this is what we do every single time I try to do a video because for some reason she thinks that this is the time to just absolutely 100% shower her mom with kisses. And then she walks behind me and then she comes back. Come on, go skedaddle. She does this each and every time. So, and then she's got this thing to where she loves to carry socks in her mouth. And then she just is like, Hey, I have a sock. I want to show you my sock. It's a really cool sock. Hey mom, I have a sock. And I call them her friendship socks. So stop. Yes, I know. I see. Okay. So getting back to our video and our wonder bomb, what wonder bomb is going, you're going to spill my coffee. Go on, you silly girl. Wonder bomb. Do you like that? It comes with a little sponge. She still has her. Whoa, yes. Sit. Sit. Seriously. You are just ridiculous. Okay. So it comes. Oh. All right. It comes with this little applicator. And what it is, it is, it's kind of like um, chapstick for your boots. It's a clear product. And you take it and you put it on your sponge. You take your boot and not, stop it. You cannot have this. And not only do you put it on the outside because it's actually really good for cleaning your boots, but when you're breaking in your boots, what you need to do, and I talked to somebody at the Doc Martin store and I asked them if this was a good thing to do. And they said, absolutely. Because I hear people tell me all the time, don't do that, but definitely do it. What you're going to do is you're going to put your Wonder Bomb on your applicator and you're going to put it on the inside of your boot, not the outside. This is where it is going to get into that porous part of your leather because on the outside, it's a finished leather. It's, it's kind of sealed. On the inside, this is where you still have like the open exposed leather. And this is where you want to put the product. You want to put your Wonder Bomb on the inside because that is what is going to soften up your boot. Okay. So use it on the outside for your cleaning, for all of that good stuff. But you want to put your Wonder Bomb on the inside. Now, once you have your Wonder Bomb on the inside, one way that I have found that really works your leather in and gets your Doc Martens broken in is to sit there and take them on and off. When you're putting your Doc Martin on and when you're pulling your Doc Martin boot off, you're moving that leather around and it's going to help you break in the leather because you want your boot to be soft. You want to have your boot to be able to, to crunch up like this is because that's when you know that your leather is breaking in and it's going to be more comfortable. It's when the leather is really stiff, that is when you run into problems and that is when you start getting that chafing and that blistering and all of that. Now, another thing that I have run across is, drives me crazy, is when this little tongue right there, when it slips over like that. I don't know how many of you all out there have had this problem. But every once in a while, you get a Doc Martin boot, and this tongue, again, doesn't stay where it's supposed to. And what I do when that happens is I will take my Wonder Bomb right in there, all the way down to, and I unlace it. Let's go ahead and unlace it so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. And you want to open your boot up as much as you can. Hi there, I'm a big fan of Docs. We'll never go back to shoes. I have, well, actually I'm wearing, <laughs> these are my Holly loafers. These are my go-to loafers. So sometimes when I just don't feel like wearing a boot, I wear the loafer. This is an extremely comfortable loafer. And one of the things that I like about this loafer so much is that it has the little um, ribbon for a tie. So if you don't think that I don't wear Doc Martens a lot, I think I just prove the fact that I do. So what you're going to do is if your tongue is moving over like that, you want to get that Wonder Bomb right inside right here where the crease is. Because it's what has happened is, is that the crease on your, your tie of your tongue right there has been basically started at the wrong position. 
So you want to soften up that leather. You want to move it back and you're really going to concentrate on getting that leather broken in right there in your boots. So that way you can move it back over to where it's supposed to be. So that is my first tip. Now, a couple of things that I've seen, because people send me TikToks and tell me about this stuff all the time, is that if you need to have a padding um, for your shoes, um, it's me again. Can you say hi to my soulmate, um, Garth, please? Is it Gareth? Is that how you pronounce it? Am I saying Gareth correct? If not, let me know. But hello, Gareth. Hopefully that's the correct way. Daisy, just let me know if I said that right. So I've seen all sorts of crazy ways on how to break in your Doc Martens. And one of the craziest ways, I've not one of the craziest ways, but you know, like when you get a little bralette and it comes with the little pads, they say to actually put this in your boot. This is a padding out of a sports bra that I had. And what you would do is you would basically put your heel right there and put your sock over that. And then that will be your cushion between your foot and your boot. So, you know, like I said, I get all sorts of tips sent to me. So you can always take this out of your, oh, good. I said it correctly. Well, thank you so much for joining my live and thank you very much for your comments. I appreciate that. I had somebody reach out to me today and thank me for responding to the comments on a lot of my makeup videos. And what I told her, and I will tell you the exact same thing, is that I, I, I make a living on social media. I'm a social media influencer and my platform is, is here. My platform, let me put it this way. Without you, there would be no me, all right? Without the people following me and interacting and talking to me, um, I know every single day that my platform wouldn't be anywhere without you. So it is my pleasure to say hello to you, Daisy, and to Gareth, and to thank you for being a part of my platform because I, for one minute, don't ever lose sight of the fact that um, without my without my subscribers, without my followers, it would just be me. And I mean, I wouldn't have to come live if it was just me. I just sit in my bathroom and talk to myself. So thank you anyway. Okay. So you think about getting um, things out of your a sports bra, or your bra, and you can use this for a padding. What do you think, Indy? Do you think this would work? Hmm? I know that you're very intrigued with this and you would love to chew on them. So think about that. Another thing that I have for you all, if you have a pair of Doc Martens that you can't break in, you're like, Lonnie, I tried the Wonder Balm. I tried um, using the whole like hair dryer thing. And if you don't know what the hair dryer thing is, I'll tell you about that. But what this is, this basically works the same like the, um, the little thing out of your bra, but this is a silicone heel protector. And I got these off of Amazon and Am all the products that I'm talking to you about today, I will, after the video's over, I will tag all the products. What do you think? But this is a silicone heel protector. And what this is going to do, it's going to just basically do the same. You are ridiculous. It's going to do the same thing as the, um, the little thing for your bra, but it's just a little bit more um, defined, I guess you could say. This is gonna hug your foot a little bit more and it's not gonna slip around like this will. So you, what you do is you, you put this on either under your sock or over your sock. And a lot of that is gonna depend on how you feel. I mean, sometimes people don't like the way that this feels against their skin and they would rather have it um, be on the outside of their sock. Some people don't like it on the outside of their sock because it slips around. But either way, whichever you choose, whichever is the best for you, um, <laughs> then you definitely either in on the outside of your sock or the inside of your sock. Daisy says, I love your dog. Um, he's such a big animal lover too. Lush, big animal lover. You're, are you a big animal lover too? I absolutely love my dog. She is, uh, she's my constant companion, you know, and it just makes me so sad. Like when people judge um, certain dog breeds just by, you know, what people have done. But I mean, she's just a good girl and she's my, 
she's my little, she's my companion. And she absolutely is absolutely intrigued with everything I do on a daily basis. Um, and she's a big love. So, okay. So think about getting um, these silicone sock protectors. I got these off of Amazon. Now I will tell you right now, sometimes with your Doc Martens, they don't fit because they're not the right size. All right. A lot of times when you get Doc Martens, you try them on and if they fit comfortably, hello, if they fit comfortably when you try them on, they're too big. You have to get a pair of Doc Martens that are tight to the point where you're like, are these the right size tight? Because what's going to happen is, is that the leather is going to stretch. And then if you bought them um, and they're, they fit perfectly, when they stretch, they're going to be too big. That's just the, that's just the way it is. I, I have people argue with me over that fact all the time. And it's not true. You want to get a pair of boots that are snug just uh, snug to your foot, break them in. They're going to be perfect. Now, if you are like, Melania, I didn't know that when I bought my Duck Martens and now they're too big. Now they wibble wobble all over my foot when I wear them. Don't worry. I got you covered on that one also. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get these little heel inserts. And what this does is it will, I guess I can open them up like a normal person. But this will make um, your shoe just a little bit tighter. This will make your foot just not slip around so much. And this is a um, like a little moleskin, and it's actually padded. And what you'll do is you'll take the back off here. It's like a little sticky. So you're going to stick it to the back of your boot. And you're going to put this right inside of your boot like that. See how it's in there? I mean, I didn't actually put it on there, but that is going to just make your boot a little bit more snug. And um, that way your foot doesn't, like, like I said, it doesn't wobble around enough. If you, if you think your boot is the right size, but for some reason you have one of those really tough boots that just won't break in, this will help with that also. So again, these are just, it's called a little space lion. I got these off of Amazon, super comfy, and I will tag these down below also. So there's all sorts of things that you can do to make your Doc Martens work. I get comments all the time saying, I got a pair of Doc Martens. I can't wear them. I'm super bummed because I spent all that money. And I totally get it. Um, Doc Martens are not cheap. They will last forever. But sometimes, again, like I keep saying, if you don't get the right size, it's just... It's just not going to work. Um, <laughs> she is a sweetheart. She really is. And people call her a boy all the time just because she's kind of got, she's a big girl. For a pit bull, she is a large size pit bull. So a lot of times people do mistake her um, for being a boy because of her size. Okay. Now, if you're out there, you're like, Lenny, that's great. You know what? I have my little bra insert. I have my silicone. I have my little heel protector. It's still not working for me. I actually, somebody sent me, I didn't find this, but somebody sent me um, some information on this. And this is Shiza. So it's S-H-E-Z-Z-A. It says, say goodbye to heel blisters. And what this is, is this is actually um, socks with those heel protectors built in. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's built in. And so... I have not tried these. I just got them, but I wanted to share them with you. The reviews were, I mean, they had great reviews. Hold on. Okay. So it is everything that I just showed you, but um, show, sewn, sewn, sewn right into the heel. And you put your sock on. So you have your little foot on. Okay. This is my foot. Okay. Boink, boink, boink. You're walking along and the padding is sewn into right here. So this, do you like my demonstrations? So this, you put that in and that heel protector is going to be right there. And what this is going to do, this is going to stop any sort of slipping or sliding. Because if you take 
this, like I said, depending on how it feels, you might not, you know, some people just don't like that feel against their skin. So they put this on the outside of the sock. What can happen on the outside of the sock is it can slip around. And this right here basically eliminates that issue. So that is everything that you can do to help break in your Doc Martens. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other things because you know what? It's just one, two. I just want to show you a couple of other things. Um, if you have Doc Martens that fit perfectly, um, then you're just looking for a good pair of socks. I like Stance socks. They are my favorite boot or favorite socks along with Adidas socks to wear with um, Doc Martens because they're cute, they're colorful, and they pop out of the top just enough to add a little bit of color because I like to add a pop of color to my boots. So even if I'm wearing like a dress or some cropped pants, I like my socks to pop. And stance socks are super cute, they're comfortable, and they have just a little bit of padding. Where these socks are super padded and they have that sewn right in, the stance socks are just a little bit extra padded on the bottom. So if I'm wearing my Doc Martens and they're already broken in, but I know I'm gonna be walking for a really long time, these are perfect. So I love these. Now, um, something else I bought this week. Look at these cute little shorts I found. Um, these are free people shorts. And I actually found them on Amazon for $19. And I was going to share these with you, but um, for some reason the sale was gone. So I am going to share the, um, the information of where I bought these and go back and check them. But they have been on sale um, for $19. And these are the Free People Movement Shorts. They have a real high waist here. And I like that because it's kind of like a little bit of a tummy control. And I'm all about controlling my tummy. They look super short, but they're not. They're a nice length short. And they come in with, they have like a little built-in, like little, little panty guard in there. They have like their own little underwear in there. And I like that. And they're super cute. Again, free people, regularly $30, and I found them on Amazon for $19. So I will put the link on there. If it's not on sale when you go to look, just keep going back. And like I said, they have had different colors on sale at different times. Um, how can I stop my Doc Martens from cracking across the front? I put protection on, but it didn't help. You know, it's just all... Unfortunately, it's leather and it's all part of the process. My Leona boots are cracked across the top. And it's just, unfortunately, it's just a leather boot. I don't, let me think about that. What, you know what, truthfully, what I would do, Daisy, is I don't think you can like stop it from what has happened so far, but I think you can add something to it that is actually going to help. And look into getting Doc Martin shoe polish. That will actually bring your boots back from the brink of like looking really beat up. And that should help minimize those cracks. Um, I experimented on a pair of Robert's boots, my oldest son, and he had his very original first pair of Doc Martens and they were really very worn in looking. And we tried that and it brought them back to, it really brought them back. So try getting a pair of Doc Martin or try getting the Doc Martin shoe polish and see if that helps. I would specifically do the Doc Martin brand because I want to make sure that it has that moisturizing kind of like leather protectant where I don't think other um, shoe polishes might have that. So definitely look into getting that. You can go straight to the Doc Martin website or um, I believe Amazon has it also. So love these shorts. I'll put the link on there. Um, another thing I found is look at these really cute pair of Puma tennis shoes. I think that these are adorable. Now, I got these because I've been obsessed with the Ugg shoes and the Ugg boots, but this color um, is so hard to find. So I decided just to buy something else. I wanted the tan color. I wanted to wear this with like denim or even like a monochromatic outfit. Um, I thought this would be cute with some white jeans for summer. 
and I found these and of course I'll link them down below. But a couple of things I really like about them is the platform. I think platform sneakers are actually dressier than regular sneakers. Um, that's just my opinion. But they have the platform. They have the cute little Puma sign right there. Hello, Indy. Um, they have the little Puma right there. They say Puma. They say Puma all over the shoe. But um, they have that. And then the outside is like a suede. So it's not a leather. And it's, I don't know. Again, I think just with the soft suede and the platform and the color, I think that these are really cute dressy little sneakers that I'm going to wear this summer because I am just that weird person that does not wear sandals very often. I mean, I will occasionally, but I like, um, I like to keep my toes under wraps. And so I don't wear sandals and I wear, I will wear sneakers all summer. I love these and they are true to size. And I, again, will link those down below. Now, another thing I want to show you is, what do I want to show you? What do I want to show you? So I found, hello, Indy. Hello. Yeah, just come on by. Don't buy, Don't bother me. Don't mind me. I'm just sitting here talking to the world. But yes. Okay. Everybody can see you. So I have been on my makeup journey and I've been having so much fun. And I want to show you two things that I found. Um, one, I found this little product from e.l.f. Now, e.l.f. is a very affordable product. It is um, animal cruelty free and it's vegan, which I try so hard to buy products that are animal cruelty free and vegan. Uh, I know I'm not perfect and I know that sometimes some of the products that I show you are not because, I mean, I just showed you leather boots, but that doesn't mean I don't try. Um, this little product here is $5 and this is a multi-use product and you can carry this in your purse or you can, you know, I would actually say carry this in your purse and have one in your bathroom, but you can do an eyeshadow with this. You can do a blush with this and you can also use this for your lips. So this is three different things. Uh, okay, so this is three different things that you can do with this little $5 makeup. Again, super cute, super small, goes in your, your makeup or it goes in your purse because I don't know how many times you've done this, but I've rushed out of the house, driving down the freeway, look in my rearview mirror and I'll be like, ooh, I forgot my blush because I look very pale. And so what I would do normally is I would find like a shade of lipstick and I would try to use that. But this you just take it out. You'd be like, no problem. I got it. Now I have blush on. So I just thought that this was really cool. And I thought you might like to carry one in your purse. Then the last thing I'm going to show you, ah, I'm so excited about this one. This is, I'm going to do a whole YouTube series on this one. I was at, so, oh, and then I'm going to tell you a story. I was at Sephora yesterday and I came across this makeup palette. Now this is from Melt Cosmetics, animal cruelty free and vegan. No, it's not vegan, but it is animal cruelty free. And this is Bad Side Zodiac. So you base your color palette on your Zodiac sign. I am a Leo, so immediately you know that this is going to be a fire sign. And it is for Aries, Leos, or Sagittarius. So you open this up and look at these amazing colors. I am going to have, so, oh, as I blind you, I'm going to have so much fun with these colors. But let me read off the colors to you. We have Drama Queen. We have too much. We have bossy, which people have said that about me. We have ego trip. We have hothead. Um, one upper. I don't really think I'm a one upper, but maybe I am. I, I'm not going to argue that one. Arrogant. Mm, I don't think I'm arrogant, but um, we'll just leave it at that. And revenge. Let that just say everything right there. I love the names of this. I 
absolutely love the colors because I'm all about bright and bold. You know what? Just because I'm 58 years old does not mean that my makeup has to be boring. And I am really getting comfortable with my makeup. I'm getting comfortable with the application. And I am just really looking forward to doing new and bright and bold things. I've already looked back at the videos that I've done when I started and I'm like, wow, no, even in like a month, my makeup has just developed and it's ah, just so much fun. But another thing, I'm going to read to you what it says right here across the top. It says, for the main character you think you are. And I love that. I mean, makeup is such an amazing way to have self-expression. I'm telling you right now, I love my tattoos because my tattoos are my self-expression. They are my life story and they're not going anywhere. You know what? Every morning I wake up and they're still in the exact same spot as when I went to bed. But you know what's not is my makeup. And my makeup, I wake up every single morning with a fresh slate and I have an opportunity every single morning to express myself in any form or fashion that I want to. And I think that that is absolutely amazing and beautiful and one of the reasons why I have enjoyed my makeup journey so far. Now I'm going to tell you my story and then we're going to wrap it up. Yesterday, Yesterday I was out of town and I was down in an area of San Diego that is rather affluent, all right? It's not cheap. I don't think there's really any area of San Diego that is cheap, but this was a coastal a, a coastal community. So you kind of get where I'm going. So I was down there and I wanted to go into a cosmetic store. I'm not going to name the store because I wanted to get some help with a bright, bold red lip. Because for Valentine's Day, I'm going to do a bright, bold red lip. So I go walking into the store and immediately, I, you know what, I'm looking around. I know a little bit about makeup and I feel comfortable looking and browsing myself. And this sales associate comes around the corner and she gives me one of these. And I'm like, wow, oh, yeah, no, you're super friendly. I think I'll keep walking. So I kept walking and I go to the back of the store. Now I'm in the back of the store and this really nice lady comes up to me. She's like, hi, can I help you? I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm here. I, I'm trying to find stuff for my red lip. Um, but, you know, I'm just browsing around. She goes, oh, I've got somebody for you. Let me take you over here to Donna. I'm not too sure if that's her name, but that's just what we're going to call her. She goes, let me go over here and take you over to Donna. She knows everything about makeup and she can help you. I'm like, great. I like Donna. She sounds like she's going to be wonderful. She sounds like she's going to be, you know, exactly what I'm looking for. So then I go over and she takes me right back to the lady who just gave me the once over. And I'm like, oh, I don't want Donna to help me. Donna's mean. So then I'm like, okay, Lonnie, maybe it's just in your head. Maybe, you know what? You judged Donna too quickly. Maybe this is on you. So I'm like, yeah, that's it. Donna's really nice. So I told Donna what I was looking for. I'm like, I've never done a red lip before. You know, I need some help. And sure enough, this is her. Here, I cleaned them. You can try it on. I'm like, really? Wow, that's really super helpful. So I'm trying to ask her questions. I'm trying to converse with her. And her answers were so short. And her, the look on her face was just so, I could tell she did not want to help me. And I got to thinking, I'm like, yeah, you know what? You know what, Donna? There's nothing making me stay here. So I was like, can I have a napkin? And I basically smeared the red lipstick all over my face. I didn't care. And I walked out. And I was like, I have two choices. I can either one, feel bad and be like, you know what? I'm just going to give up. I don't, you know what? This isn't good. I'm just going to go away. And then the other choice was, is like, no, I'm not going to let somebody negative like that stop me. I'm going to continue on my journey. I'm going to find the product that I want to use, and I'm going to show a bright, bold red lip. And that's exactly what I did. I went to a different cosmetic store. I got great help. I walked out with the products that I wanted. And the moral of the story is it's not about Donna. Donna doesn't matter. The moral of the story is, is that we can't let people like that stop us from our expression journey. Yes, sometimes it's hard to walk into a store when you don't know what you're talking about and you don't know if what you want to try is going to work out. And when you're met with 
somebody who's treating you like that, it's really hard to stay positive. And it's really hard to be like, yeah, you know what? Um, I'm going to keep going. And my message to you is keep going. Don't let negativity and don't let mean people stop you from doing what you want to do. If that was the case, I would never get out of bed in the morning and I would never get dressed and I wouldn't come back and do what I do. I don't let negativity stop me. And I really hope you never let negativity stop you. So, you know what, Donna, and I'm not stopping and I'm going to continue to do whatever I want with my makeup because you know what, it's my journey and it's my self-expression. So with that, now you have your tips for breaking in some Doc Martens. You know the cute things that I bought from Amazon. You saw my amazing color palette that we're going to be working on. And you know not to let negative people like Donna stop you from ever having self-expression. So with that, I just want to let you know I will be back on Valentine's Day. We will have a little, you know what, it's not, there's nothing wrong with being single powwow. I'm so looking forward to that because I, again, think it is such an important message to remember and to get out that just because you don't have a significant other in your life, absolutely 100% does not mean that you cannot feel loved on Valentine's Day. So I will be back. Thank you so much. I love y'all dearly. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next live. Bye everyone. Bye.